I warmly welcome you to this event on the centenary of the 1918 influenza pandemic, commonly known as the Spanish flu. It is estimated that the Spanish flu killed more people in 24 weeks than AIDS killed in 24 years. In fact, the pandemic killed up to 100 million people, more people than all the wars of the 20th century combined. As a global community, we are still woefully unprepared to combat major infectious disease epidemics. The ongoing Ebola, Lhasa, MERS COV, cholera and influenza outbreaks serve as stark reminders that infectious diseases are unrelenting and do not respect national borders. Too many a times we go to the same communities responding to the same outbreaks and then coming back a year or two later, finding them exactly in the same level of vulnerabilities with the same challenges that we faced before. Going forward, we need to design and implement proactive preparedness approaches to further improve our capacity to prevent and or quickly control unpredictable disease outbreak. Uh, are we today at all prepared for another pandemic on the scale of the Spanish flu? The short and quick answer is no. Uh, I think clearly that um, yes, we have learned and uh, we have continued our engagement with our various partners around the world, but we have much uh, yet to do. We have really to um, uh, increase uh, the protection of health workers, because health workforce is really uh, what is uh, critical for responding to an epidemic. The number of countries which have updated their pandemic preparedness plan is quite limited at the moment. And if those countries have not enacted, have not updated the plan, and have not enacted the plan by going out to meet with uh, suppliers, they will not get the vaccine when the pandemic will hit. An outbreak of any sort begins in a community, and it's the communities that are the eyes and ears of this. They can spot when things are unusual. So once again, investing in communities is vital across that entire spectrum of early detection, response, good treatment, and ensuring that we're able to control and contain as quickly as possible. We tend to forget that uh, vaccine is not vaccination. And so I think it's, it's great to have a product, but we need to ensure that everything around this product and the system that will allow this product to be accessible uh, are in place. We create these magnificent silos of information and knowledge, mm -hmm. but how often do we share information with our veterinarian colleagues? How often are we doing the work in communicating? Because the most uh, important thing that we have, the only tool we really have to, to tackle viruses is information. I think that there are some coordination progresses which have been made yeah. that we should, we should be, you should be proud about. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's a collective effort. I particularly want to send a thank you now to the IFPMA and the IFRC. And on behalf of the World Medical Association, thank all of you for being here today. Thank you.